Mia Kirshner. We have my name is Mia Kirshner, and I, <laughs> I play Julie Benz's, um Amanda's sister, and um, I play a character named Kenya, and I run a brothel. I am the town madam, and the club is called The Need Want, which is basically a place that should push every sexual fantasy you have. And um, it's also a place for that she believes that sex is love, and through sex you find peace, and this character is overflowing with love. <laughs> I didn't realize it was that kind of game. <laughs> You can't play that in the game, though. It's got nothing to do with it, was <laughs> So, you know, Nick, um, we were talking about, um, we've been hearing a lot about how the, it's going to interact. Uh, give us a sense of, you know, what, the fan, what that means to fans. Is there a specific example that you could give that would give us an outline of that? Sure. Something that I really blows my mind about the show is the attention to the mythology. When I arrived on the show, there was a whole history created for these characters, and many of us had to learn a completely different made-up language, and Stephanie had to learn how to write in this language. And I've never seen anything like that before. The attention to detail and the craftspeople that work on the show really, really want to do something that's groundbreaking. And I feel like it's pretty wild to be a part of something like that. There's, like there's actually, that's kind of an interesting thing. There's actually, uh, there's four languages four. which have been designed, uh, written, and, uh, and, and to be spoken by uh, David Peterson, who created the Dothraki language for uh, Game of Thrones. And uh, we've got true type fonts, we've got alien signage, and there's grammar rules, and basically every time we want something to be in the alien language, we write it in English, note it, and then he goes and does a translation for us and, and gives us uh, MP3s and phonetic translations so the actors can learn this stuff. But that's, that's kind of the level of uh, sort of anal retentive detail that we've got on this show. And it's made learning your lines a whole lot harder, by the way. <laughs> I've learned many, many things in my life which could come in very, very handy at any time, and I've forgotten the majority of them. But forever, <laughs> will be seared in my memory until the day I die. And, uh... By the way, she just gave a big spoiler. As an actor, for me, what I think is really poignant about the show is the show is about us and where we're going environmentally, socially, politically, and what's happening to us. And what I think is really interesting are the stories are a reflection of where we're going and they're, they're characters that you can really relate to and the show is grounded in a very heavy reality. So I think that's really what sucks you into this world is that it's about you, me, me. Survival and evolution, yeah. you know. <laughs>